All right, so this one is for all of my fellow Jamaican Forex traders. The time is 12.46 p.m. the 19th of July 2021. I'm going to be talking about banking and deposit options for those traders living in Jamaica, those traders that are abroad but want to use an offshore bank account to trade using their Jamaican credentials and just about the hindrance many traders in Jamaica are facing right now in terms of getting um, their money into their trading account and most importantly after they have traded and made a profit how to get their money back out this is a very very important video please hit that subscribe button you have to please guys like and share this video the information that i'm going to be giving out is going to be assisting many of you now first off i got the banks in jamaica well the main banks that forex traders use starting with ncb followed by scotia bank yeah let's go across the list first global that's the one that i use uh cibc and there's also Sajiko, but I'm just going to focus on these ones because the Scotia Bank, the First Global, CIBC, and the NCB are the most common ones. Now, first and foremost, the easiest way to deposit into a broker is by using a payment processor such as Skrill. Sadly, Skrill is no longer accepting Jamaican Forex traders. If you already had a Skrill account and had the account verified uh, before they you know, stop accepting Jamaican clients, then you're good to go. But if not, they're no longer accepting us. So let's get into the heart of the matter. First thing first, the banking institution that you're with is not going to operate with certain brokers. Certain brokers is not going to be able to accept um, transactions from that banking institute. And that is what's giving you the problem. Now, the broker that is causing the biggest hang up, surprisingly, is my top Forex broker, IC Markets. Now, they are a fully regulated broker based in Australia. But I see markets have since undergone some changes in terms of their financial agreements and they are under a new heading for those that are offshore banking customers. Now, let's get into some geopolitics right now. Jamaica is currently under the region that is designated the United States. So banking institutions in Jamaica are considered like a half branch of banking institutions in the United States. The, due to the financial regulations of Australia, they cannot offer trading services to traders who are in the Western Hemisphere and this region. So traders from the United States, traders from Canada and traders in Jamaica, uh, you can still sign up with IC markets. But when it comes on to depositing, you can in fact make a deposit. But when you're getting your money back, that's the issue. Let me explain. If you are going to be making a deposit on um, IC markets, the best broker so far to use is Scotia Bank. NCB won't work out. You can make a deposit using First Global Bank as well, but you're going to have to get the money back by a wire transfer. Now, if your initial route wasn't a wire transfer, you're going to run into some serious trouble. So if you're going to be using IC markets, um, you cannot under any circumstance go with a normal um deposit method in terms of via using a visa debit card you're going to have to deposit via wire transfer and it has to be through scotia bank scotia bank has been proven to be the banking institution that actually works with ic markets thus far if you try to go with ncb it's not going to work out so that's the first main point now moving on cibc is a decent bank you can use to deposit with a broker like um, blueberry markets or hot forex and so on the point of the matter is when you're going to open up the savings account to get their visa debit card you cannot under any circumstance mention that it is forex trading that you're doing they still do transactions and wires and so on but due to the fact that it's a micro bank you're going to have to quite naturally take out small increments of profit so you can't take out no big large amounts as to raise suspicion and that is the issue that many forex traders are getting with ncb now NCB offers um, visa debit cards. I don't know if they're still rolling them out, but they do offer visa debit cards. But here's the problem. If, for instance, you, you know, did very good on your trading account and you're going to be withdrawing a very large amount, they are not going to allow you to get it, especially if it's directly to the card. They're not going to take it back to the card, especially if it's with IC markets. Stay with me, people. It's literally a mess. Our banking system in Jamaica needs to upgrade. So is all hope lost? All hope is not lost. You can deposit and trade on Hot Forex. That's another broker using um, Scotia Bank. 
you can wire transfer to them and then you will also be able to get your um withdrawals via the wire transfer route as well i see markets is the big hang up right now now here's some more good news blueberry markets is accepting paypal deposits so you have the paypal option screw is still there across all the different brokers that i have and you can go with paypal as i mentioned and oh by the way paypal doesn't do direct um withdrawals to jamaican bank account so you're gonna have to use a third party service once you have deposited onto blueberry markets through paypal you're gonna have to use a zoom uh X zoom if i pronounce it right that's how you're gonna have to get your money from paypal to x o o m hope i'm pronouncing it right then from there to your jamaican bank all right the next route that is available work with me guys if you are going to trade crypto or you want to deposit using a crypto wallet the best one so far for jamaicans is set that i o i did a review video um earlier on this channel about this one so this is the best deposit option for jamaican forex traders set that i o they do in fact work with jamaican banks so you can put in your um, banking information and deposit directly from your card and get back your funds this way so you can use as a middle um, payment processor to your broker convert the funds them to your broker i'm gonna have to do a special video one half showing this process but if you do not want to directly go on the broker and you want to strictly trade cryptos they offer the trading options in which after you have made a deposit and your funds are uploaded you go on there they have a special broker situated for just trading cryptocurrencies alone and you can trade it directly from here and collect back your funds and yeah uh, do with it as you please your money so let's start off on the top best banking option for jamaican traders with hot forex and blueberry markets not ic markets is scotia bank you can still go with ic markets with them but you have to ensure that it is a wire um transfer wire bank transfer route that you go to so you're gonna have to get the wire transfer information bank that accepts paypal as a payment um deposit option and does withdrawals via paypal blueberry markets ncb if you are going to be using ncb wire deposit option is good they do allow the visa debit card deposit option but wire um, deposit option would be the best do not use ncb with ic markets better use ic markets with scotia first global works with hot forex first global works with um, ic markets first global also works with blueberry markets but you're gonna have to do the wire transfer option when it comes on to ic market so yes the top broker on my list ic market sadly it's the one that is causing a hang up for many of you guys the best broker right now going forward for jamaican traders in terms of deposit and withdrawal options through wire transfer and ease of use ease of you know doing the deposit and so on via scotia bank is hot forex and the latest deposit option being presented to us via paypal is blueberry markets and as i mentioned you can deposit on these brokers using the sec.io um, cryptocurrency e-wallet or trade directly from sec.io yes guys it's a cobweb of information it's all over the place i'm gonna have to annotate this up in the video guys so you guys can you know scroll back and watch it but this is the process for those who need some advice some consultation as to what to do my email will be in the description box below so you guys can get in contact with me if you're going to be opening up a bank account slowly for the purpose of trading forex under no circumstance mention that it's for forex trading you're going to do even if the bank is a major bank the two major banks on this list are ncb and scotia the two minor banks that i have are first global and cibc all across the board don't mention forex it's none of their business ensure that you ask them to ensure that your card is open up for financial transactions overseas and that you are in in investing do not mention forex if uh, anything mention stocks it wouldn't be lying because it does line in with stocks and so on but do not mention forex you have to be wise and use your due diligence remember jamaica is a trying third world country uh, we have many accomplishments many rough periods but we are trying people and forex um, trading is actually taking off in jamaica it's really sad that our banking system is the way it is right now traders have to be calling the banks telling them please free up my funds and so on but there is hope 
there are other options that I'm going to explore, but I just had to get this route out the way. Remember, the same route you put in the money after you have verified your Forex trading account is the exact same route you're going to get it back. So, in clothing, if you are going to be going with IC markets because you like that broker and so on, ensure that you go with Scotia Bank and it's the wire deposit option route you go with. The Visa debit card option does in fact work, but you have to inform them to open up the card for international transactions. But to be safe, go with the wire transfer route. All right. Then there's the Blueberry Markets with the PayPal and the XOOM option. And then you have the cryptocurrency deposit option using set.io. IC Markets is the trip up, especially when it comes on to CIBC and uh, also definitely the National Commercial Bank. All right, guys. So please share this video. Looking forward to the comments in the comment section below. And stay tuned for my other videos coming up today. God bless you all. Peace.